Hello, welcome to Quantum Guruji. So in this video, we are going to learn how to do geometry optimization of a molecule. Okay, so first step what we need to do is we need to design a molecule. Here I'll be using Gauss view to design a molecule and some of the calculation. And I have designed methane molecule over here. Okay, so to for like to go for geometry optimization, what you need to do is first right click and go to the calculate menu and here you have to select so here you need to select uh, Poisson calculation setup and there you just go for uh, see there are several menus you can go for energy calculation in energy calculation will be getting just the total energy of the system whatever is the geometry there will be no geometry optimization this is just the single point calculation will be going for optimization as well as the frequency calculation so we will click here there is no need to change uh, like anything from here until you need it go to method here you need to select the like uh, what method you want to use suppose i want to use dft and spin of the molecule like uh, like if it is uh, radical system so you will be having a lone electron so you have to use uh, accordingly restricted or unrestricted depending on your molecule right so right here we have a bound system so will be generally if like uh, system is not uh, we are using default it will be restricted okay if there is a uh, unpaired electron will be using unrestricted if you don't know just go for default spin and this is the functional whatever functional you want to choose just choose it from here once you choose the functional you have to go choose the basis set basis set generally for organic molecule if you don't have any basic understanding about the basis set I will suggest you can go with 631G in the beginning, okay, uh, or otherwise depends on your situation like whatever uh, things are known in the literature you can go with that, okay. So here I will be using 321G just for like fast calculation and this is the diffuse function generally used for the KT ones we will be using diffuse function since we have a neutral molecule so and there is uh, another menu is called polarization so if polarization is required we can give it but in this system we don't have any polarization like suppose if there is a more electronic element the lone pairs or something you can give polarization function but here there is no requirement of polarization function okay so there is no requirement here okay so we can simply skip this polarization function over here if you want to be just for just to show you i'll put one star here okay in the next menu you need to put the charge this molecule is neutral so we are not going to put any charge over here and this is the spin since this is a like a paired system like there is no unpaired electron so it will be signet here now go to the title menu here you need to write name of the molecule and everything will be same if you want to do solvation calculation suppose you want to do calculation in the water medium or some other medium you have to select uh, like solvation model from here okay other than that what you need to do is simply go and submit the calculation okay once you are submitting the calculation the calculation will start in the gaussian okay once you like your calculation is over you will see three files one will be the checkpoint file input file and the output file now first we can go and check the output file open the output file and in case of this is the methane molecule and if you click on the two atoms you, it will display the bond length over here at the downside okay 1.09 over here we can see there so right click go to the results and now you click on the summary in this section you can see you, uh, these are the frequency calculation we have done along with the geometry optimization and these are the basis set we have chosen charge of the molecule and this is the, just the summary of the molecule what we have taken Dipole moment we already know methane has a zero dipole moment. This is the total uh, energy of the system is minus 40 point something in hatchery. And this molecule has tetrahedral symmetry that you can see from here. Okay. And these are the thermodynamic properties. Uh, if required, you want, it's just you can take it from here. And in the optimization, you can see uh, everything maximum force, our uh, root mean square force, maximum displacement, and the root mean square displacement value. Everything has converged. So we got the minima of this molecule. Okay. So this was the uh, how to do a geometry optimization for any molecule the same process will be for uh, any molecule with uh, whatever you like you will be using thank you